Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you are new, this is Meredith and so glad you're here today. I am sharing part one of this beautiful journal I am creating for Lydia at Raindrop Lila for a design team project. And um, it has kind of developed into a little larger project. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and give you a little preliminary peek and um, share this as part one and then uh, part two, I will maybe um, do some ephemera that goes inside um, to complete the journal. So anyway, for today, let's just take a look at where we are so far. Um, I am using the images from the Whispers of the Past kit that uh, Lydia released recently, and they come in color that is just stunning. And then also you'll see um, there are some black and white as well, and you'll see all of those. Um, and then this is kind of a flip-flop style journal, so created with as envelopes as the base. And I've just tied on this um, beautiful blue, sorry uh, for now, not sure if that'll be the final product, but it's keeping this little topper in place. And so what I did is I took an envelope and I created a little um, journal topper. This um, beautiful lace is from Lavish Laces. And I believe the one underneath is from Blue Linen Cottage. So I will link all those below. So this is kind of a reversible uh, style topper. If you like the color, you can have that on top. And if you prefer the black and white, you can have it either way. And I think it's just as gorgeous with both of them. So I wanted to incorporate both the color and the black and white. So here's just kind of a little tuck spot on the front and I just popped in a little folded uh, secret journaling spot there. And then as you flip over, I have another one behind this beautiful girl. And this is actually on some cardstock and it flips out and I've tucked in a few um, of my beautiful vintage uh, French uh, papers. So that just tucks in here and then in the envelope pocket, I have another little fold out. This is um, paper from the beautiful Camille kit and it is just stunning, so I love it. Um, most of the papers that I used for the base of the journal are um, from her recent uh, Pretty Blue Background papers and so I'll make sure all of that is listed below. So that's our little topper. And then the first envelope is a flip out. And I created this fun little cluster down here with some fabrics, scraps that I've had forever from Lovely Lotties. I think this might have come in a um, happy mail from my friend Marlene. And these um, tags are part of the uh, Pretty Blues kit. And then in here, I just tucked in some fun tickets. These are from my friend Gail. And this is the um, script and blossoms paper. And I just reduced it. I printed two to a page so I could have a little bit smaller. Um, and then just some pretty blue background paper there. And then I just tucked in a little, a little music sheet. And so that gets tucked in here. And then as we flip over, oh, and this trim here is from Lavish Laces. I love that. It's kind of like a little micro <laughs> pom-pom. Super cute. Okay. So flipping over, we have the black and white version. So see how I kind of mirrored that. And then here I just have a beautiful um, Italian, actually, no, this is French. This is from um, Jacqueline at Souvenir de la France. So many gorgeous uh, papers in her packets. And then another um, beautiful little sheet uh, from the Pretty Blue kit. And I just reduced that down. Actually, no, I think I cut, I trimmed this from the full page. So there's more that goes around it. So you have to, have to check all those out. So this is a little envelope tuck here. <clears throat> this is from the Pretty Blues kit. All right, so now we go to the beginning of the journal and um, I have not sewn my signatures in yet. So I will just kind of give you a little mini flip of all the papers I've chosen. Here is uh, one of the tags from the uh, blues kit and I added this gorgeous 
um, trim on the bottom. This is from Lovely Lotties. And I backed my tags with some of uh, the craft paper. And then in here, I have a beautiful little document. Super pretty. And then this is another um, document. I will list all these below because I, I literally cannot <laughs> remember. I use so many different ones. I just kept checking out uh, Lydia's beautiful um, kits that have blue in them. Sorry, I just had to let my dog back in. And um, she has so many gorgeous, gorgeous kits with blue. So the first signature um, is a combination of printables and uh, beautiful French papers. This is a uh, receipt from, I think it had a date on it. Let me just look on the back. 1960 from Jacqueline. And then a little coffee dyed paper. This is um, some Swallow uh, document paper from the Swallows kit. And then in here, I got a beautiful pack that I ordered from Mary at A Passion for Paper on Etsy, and she had these gorgeous little extras that she tucked in for me, and I love that um, coffee stained or tea stained doily. And this is a little flip out, and the rest of that book page, and then this is the other side of that gorgeous blue. So that will tuck in here, and I'm gonna just take it out for right now for purposes of flip through. And then this might be my favorite um, part of the entire journal. I've had this piece from Blue Linen Cottage, came in a like a grab bag pack that I bought last year. And I've been waiting to use this <laughs> for so long. <laughs> Look how gorgeous it is. It's like this beautiful like mesh fabric and then these gorgeous blue embroidered um they kind of look like tulips to me but anyway so pretty so i made this into a little tuck spot and i tucked in one of lydia's um french checks the blue which is so gorgeous and then i just attached our black and white girl on the front and our color girl on the back and let's see i can't remember if i double printed yes i did so lydia's french checks you can double print them so that you have both the front and the back. So that's very cool. And then here we have our largest envelope and I have tucked in another beautiful French ledger from Lydia's um, antique collection and then some little bit of age tape and just kind of age that on both sides. So that just tucks in here. And then on the next flip, I have this beautiful um, lace that I used on the front, girls, um, from Lavish Laces. So pretty. <clears throat> and then I made, um, so this is going to be the second signature goes in here. I hope I'm still in frame. Sorry if I'm not. So I did kind of some mirrored uh, tuck spots with some embossed or uh, stenciled. Um, craft paper and just added some little fun touches here and then this um, this is the pretty blues kit and this here is a copy of a gorgeous French document from Jacqueline some uh, beautiful Italian dictionary page this is an Edith Holden little vintage Pilgrim's Progress and then this amazing paper from the Pretty Blues kit. Love it so much. So that is signature number two, and we'll just take that out so it doesn't flip around. I love how this turned out. I'm not usually a matchy-matchy, but it's kind of fun to have some symmetry. So then this is um, the third signature, and so the, the end of this, this side, and then We've got that one I'll show you in a sec. So here's another little fun um, pocket that I made out of the tag and the craft paper and this beautiful girl. And then as you flip over, I have her black and white image on the back side. This is coming up, so I'm going to be taping that down better. <laughs> you never know when you're making stuff if it's going to stick together. So this is this signature. I've got a beautiful antique Italian page as is that super, super old, gorgeous 
fronts piece from an Italian book. And here I just created a little tuck spot because this is a really long page. Um, this is from the Romantic Tuscan collection that Lydia has in her shop. And these, um, this is the pretty blue backgrounds. So that is our third signature. And then here's, you can see, I did some more um, detail on the bottom and some fabric behind here. And this is kind of an open tuck, so it could actually even be removed and used elsewhere. So as we flip to the back, we have this gorgeous black and white and this beautiful trim. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, I have another tag and this is the Camille kit and I just collaged it a little bit. And this is some trim from Blue Linen Cottage. So that tucks in here. And then I added some of this awesome, fun, um, it's kind of like the dotted Swiss, but it's a ruffle. And I get this from Fiber Infusions. And I've listed all these um, below. Uh, so here is an open space, and I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with this. If I'm going to add more pockets or tucks, I actually just adore this paper so much the way it is. So I may just leave that blank because we do have a signature that is enclosed in here. There's another one of those French checks, some more Italian cage. No, sorry, French. This is some coffee stained staff paper. And then this was um, from that beautiful documentee book from the other signature, so gorgeous. And just the backs of everything. And this one is a kind of a tall, tall signature. Added a little aged tape here. And then this is the back. So this will be the final section and um, we will have one more signature in here that I have not created yet. So I need to pick some papers for that. This is that gorgeous uh, embossing folder that I have. I will show you because I love it so much. So this is the mini version here and get this on Amazon, Tim Holtz, it's like six bucks. And this is the larger version and it's the 3D um, whatever impressions I think it's called. Super fun and I just love uh, how they look and I did this on a piece of uh, file folder so it's pretty sturdy and then here's another one more little pocket with another beautiful uh, collage tag with that trim and some more um, craft paper and um, just little accents there and then we flip back to the front so this is where we're at right now and I'm thinking that for part two I will take you along with creating a few more um, embellishments and that final signature, and we'll do a final flip through um, probably midweek next week. So have an absolutely fabulous rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.